Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini March 31, 2022. Seeking hidden answers and motivations can enrich your life if you use this energy wisely. The moon spends the day undercover in your solar 8th house, inclining you to observe before acting. You can be somewhat divided in your thoughts and attention, as you're especially interested in your personal life, but you're also quite focused on your worldly goals or ambitions. Be ready for a change of plans or some imperfect conversations. You're likely to learn more about yourself and others through observation, so it may be better to aim to do more listening and looking than talking just for the time being. What's blocking you from cultivating a committed partnership? The moon enters Sirius Aquarius, bringing greater emphasis to your erotic eighth house of sex, mergers, intimate unions, and shared resources, which means you're likely focusing on the foundation of your commitments and interpersonal connections. Moreover, the moon will meet with freedom-loving Uranus in Taurus via your secretive 12th house of closure, dreams, and all things behind the scenes urging you to break free from unconscious patterns and or fears that could be stifling your one-on-one -on -one connections. Bottom line? You're holding on to something outdated and no longer serving your highest good. Stand up for what you are owed. Although you are usually an easygoing mutable sign, the last quarter moon in Aquarius will encourage you to take action. This lunar phase starts with some sort of crisis, enabling you to transform your assets or resources. It may be time to finally let go of investments or resources that no longer sustain your professional endeavors. As you allow certain paths to come to an end, this can help you adjust and find better financial opportunities. Now is the time to prioritize the important assets. For the first time in over four months, the moon has not only returned to your financial sector to find Pluto on his own, but the planet of change and revolution slowing down ahead of a retrograde turn at the end of next month. This reveals a dramatic sea change and while this has been happening anyway, with your financial instincts sharp a shift in focus from the short to the long term is now more obvious. There is a world out there waiting to be discovered. Your increased dynamism will spur other people into joining in. Be flexible and spontaneous, maybe traveling to a new town or on a short journey. Rediscovering your own local area can also be very inspiring and even more enjoyable in the company of others. You've got more mojo than you thought you had, and it's about to surprise you and your friends with a sudden display of big-time craziness. Learn to love it. You feel independent, open to fresh experiences. Don't be rushed too quickly into anything, even if you've a real opportunity to get to know someone new and interesting. Irrespective of whether you fall hopelessly in love or have a set plan, your love life is evolving in new ways, try to make them the best. Given the many options you have in life, the sensation of being overwhelmed can become the norm. Today's aspect gives some respite, allowing you to communicate in the way you would like to. This includes how you speak to yourself inside your head. With all of the healthy living emphasis on diet and exercise, it is easy to forget that the most nurturing part of ourselves is really in our mind. How you treat yourself mentally is more important than low-fat anything. Think about it. If you're frequently having the same dream there may be something you need to do. Some dream experts say that if you have reoccurring dreams with the same people appearing, it's because you have something important to say to them. If this is happening to you, this day's essence will encourage you to talk to the person or people in your dreams. Even if you're not sure what you're supposed to say, have a conversation with them. Living or dead, speaking your true feelings to the person involved may bring healing. Before leaving your career sector today, the moon will align with Jupiter and Neptune in your career sector, as it has done with every monthly visit so far this year. The difference this time is that 10 days after the sun left and with the planets of luck and dreams just days away from aligning, this is both a chance to check in and for some serious wishful thinking. With Venus returning next week and Mars the week after, if you can dream it there are stars on the way that can help you do it. Now in her final days in an adventurous part of your chart, 
Venus no longer has the adventurous lunar vibes from earlier in the week, with the impact from the working week taking hold. Yet as she works with Mars to bring a mix of romance, passion and adventure together, Venus is also looking to the long term, knowing that the momentum of this professional year will continue to build. Our eyes in the sky. Today, there's a feeling of change in the air due to the sextile between Mercury in Pisces and Pluto in Aquarius in the early morning. That change is something we know we can't prevent from happening and so knowingly accept. Breaking out of the mundane right now is key to domestic partnerships and personal growth. You could also find it easier than usual to meet new people, and these encounters are blessed. Your crown chakra is clearer than usual, so you will know if someone isn't worth your time and energy. Trust that intuition. Moods could be unpredictable as your mind wanders from one topic to another throughout the day, but generally speaking, taking a few detours from your routine is bound to lead you to some valuable new experiences. Something else you'll be working on, and perhaps struggling with, is how to control your temper. This energy wants you to say what's on your mind, even if it hurts, but you know it's not the correct way to behave. You could also put your foot in your mouth. Think before speaking so you can express yourself clearly and concisely. We feel strong in our convictions and others may seek us out for wise counsel. Conversely, we might be inspired to seek it from another with more expertise or life experience. Exercising patience is the key to achieving harmony. We weigh our choices with reverence for each option, and only proceed once we affirm that we will grow as a person through our elections and intentions. Miscommunications with loved ones provoke guilt and create the impression that we are not living up to some hypothetical bargain. Perceived slights or outright disrespect causes us to question others' feelings for us. We don't want to be seen as the bad guy. However, overcompensation is never the best route to attaining validation. Yet today, we are at the mercy of circumstance, and even if we exhaust ourselves fighting to overcome a situation, we are unable to make progress. This transit encourages us to trust the process and allow events to unfold organically. If nothing is working, stop. There is something to be learned in the stillness, and we would deny ourselves critical awareness by steamrolling ahead, however, this aspect also distorts boundaries that may be legitimately erected to keep those at bay who would exploit our generosity and kindness. We can fall victim to guru types who claim to have the answers now, particularly those whose spiritual guise makes them appear harmless. This signature factors into the upcoming full moon, so seek to be compassionate as well as discerning in your relationships. Chase your dreams, embrace your inner magic, and exercise your creativity. We can be compelled to act manipulatively, a subconscious response to feeling powerless. Our judgment is not fundamentally sound now, so we should avoid placing ourselves in dangerous situations or entertaining toxic relationships just to prove we can handle them. The moon then enters a void period lasting until the early afternoon. Delay confrontations and even settling disagreements until after the moon ingresses into a new sign. 